Welcome to Turkish lessons for English speakers. My name is Ahmet Akarsu. Turkish is my native language and I learned English at school. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about common words in English and Turkish and this will help you to improve your Turkish vocabulary much faster than you could imagine. Every language has common words with other languages, and Turkish is not an exception to that. Turkish has common words with many languages, including English. This means that you already know many words in Turkish, even if you are not aware of it yet. I call these common words as familiar words. Let me start by showing you some unfamiliar words. Even though these are easy words, assumed to be suitable for beginners, I am sure they mean nothing at all to you. So here is what they mean in English. As you can see, the English words are completely different from the Turkish words. But what about these words? Guitar, music, pilot, sex, concert, sandwich, Kedi, Okul. I think you know the meaning of all of them. Well, perhaps you might need some help for the last two words. So let me give you some hints. Kedi is an animal which has a sound meow. And Okul is where students go to get formal education. So here they are. As you can see, the English words are very similar, if not exactly the same. Let me show you some more advanced words in Turkish. And here are their meanings. I am sure these words frighten you a bit, because they are not suitable at all for beginners. But let me show you some other advanced words in Turkish. Protesto Police, passport, democracy, capitalism, socialism. Do you need any translations for these words? Well, I think not at all, but here they are. Now, let me show you a fictionalized text in Turkish that contains many familiar words. I will read the text for you. While following, try to catch the familiar words. İstanbul'da polis protestoculara biber gazı sıkarken bazı televizyon kanalları penguen belgeseli gösteriyordu. Bu sırada polis helikopterleri video kameralarıyla olayları kaydediyordu. Olaylar sırasında protestoculara ve turistlere bazı oteller ve restoranlar yardım etti. Lavabo ve tuvaletleri kullanmalarına izin verdi. Resepsiyondan telefon açarak doktor ve ambulans çağırmalarına olanak tanıdı ve Wi-Fi şifrelerini vererek sosyal medyada mesajlarını paylaşmalarını sağladı. Were you able to catch all the familiar words? Here they are. Even though this is not a suitable text for beginners at all, I am sure the familiar words helped you to guess what the text is talking about. Well, here is the English translation for you. If you want, you can just pause the video at this moment and have a look at greater detail to compare the Turkish text and its translation. Now I have a question to you. Would you prefer to start learning Turkish from the unfamiliar words or the familiar ones? I think my choice is quite clear. For this lesson, I will forget about the unfamiliar words and concentrate on the familiar ones. Normally, it is said that an average person can learn about 10 new words a day, but with this approach, you will now learn more than 600 Turkish words in just a few minutes. So if you like the idea, just follow me. Here is my lesson plan. First, I will give you some information about imported words in Turkish language. Then, I will warn you about some confusing words. 
And finally, I will concentrate on the familiar words. That will be the longest but the easiest part of the lesson. Let's first start with imported words. In Turkish, there are different words with the same meaning. So, vasıf, nitelik and kalite all mean the same thing. Vasıf is an old word, nitelik is a new word and kalite is an imported word from western languages. For several reasons, some people prefer to use mostly the old words, some others prefer the new words and others prefer the imported ones. But whichever they prefer to use when they speak, they understand all of them when somebody else speaks. And there are many words like this in Turkish. As you have probably realized, the imported words are very similar to the words in English. In this case, I find it quite logical to concentrate on the imported words at the beginning stage of your learning process. At later stages, however, it will be good to learn the other words also so that you will be able to understand any speaker in Turkish. Another good thing about the imported words is that there are no other alternatives for some of them. So, for example, tango is tango, samba is samba, and piano, jazz, telephone, television, cassette, football, goal are all Turkish words which have no other alternatives. All you have to do in this case is to concentrate on the correct spelling and proper pronunciation. Well, this is all you need to know about imported words. Now, I have to warn you about confusing words. In Turkish, there are some words which look exactly the different uh, very similar or exactly the same as words in English, but they mean something completely different. So, for example, the word define in Turkish, even though it looks like the word define in English, actually it has nothing to do with that word. Define in Turkish means treasure in English. Seven means the one who loves, nice means so many, Sun means present, to present something, make a presentation. At means horse. Can means life. Ten means skin. On means the number ten. Mum means candle. Her means each or every. Salt means mere, pure, simple. Hot means line or border. Please pause the video at this moment and have a look at these words once again before you continue with the lesson so that they will get in your mind. The good news about these confusing words is that they are not so many. There are I think less than 100 words like this in Turkish, which will confuse you. And actually, if you know them, then you will not be confused. Now I am showing you the ones that you will most frequently be meeting. So here is the next page of confusing words. Even though this word looks or sounds like engine in English. Actually, it is engin, and it means immense or wide. The word enginar might look like engineer, but it means artichoke in English. Engel probably looks like angel, but it means obstacle. Put means idol. Sai means count or it also means respect. Roman means novel. Gel means come. 
his means feeling. Mine is enamel or tooth. Pie means share. Buy means mister. Red means refusal, to refuse something. It means dog. It also means push, to push something. You can pause the video again to look at this list also. Otherwise, you will most probably forget them. Now that you have all the necessary preliminary information, we can concentrate on the familiar words. The good news is that there are thousands of them. And I prepared for you a list of 600 words. To be more exact, 650 words. And instead of giving these words in random order or in alphabetical order, I thought it would be much more meaningful to put them in categories. I think when you see related words together, it will be easier to learn them and keep them in your mind. Before I start to show you the words, I want to say a few more things. If you were going to find these words by yourself, I think it would have taken several months. So I believe that this lesson will save much time. And because you will be hearing the proper pronunciation from a native speaker of Turkish language, it will be much easier for you to learn them. So let me start with the first category. The first word is music. On the left column, I will give the Turkish word. And on the right column, I will give the English translation so that you can check if necessary. So please concentrate on the left column while I'm showing and reading the words. Melody. Harmony. Rhythm. Tempo. Guitar. Piano. Accordion. Opera. Dance. Tango. Coro. Orchestra. Before you continue with the next page, I want to recommend again to pause the video and have a look at the whole list before you continue. That will help you to keep the words in your mind, I guess. And one more information before I continue with the next page. I put these numbers here so that if you are tired or bored at some point and give a break, you will know where to resume later. This number shows that there are total 50 pages and this is the first page of it. This is the category and in this category I have four pages and this is the first page of it. So now I continue with the second page. Saxophone, clarinet, trompet, trombone, contrabass, cello or violoncel, viola, mandolin, samba, salsa, jazz, classic, pop, recital, Conservatoire, Repertoire, Nota, Studio, Concert, Chromatic, Diatonic. These are technical terms in music, so if you are not a musician, probably you might not know their meanings. If it is so, I think you may just skip the Turkish translation without any problems. Well, up to you. Ton. Ton means tone, but it also has other meanings in Turkish. So if you are not talking about music, it might mean tuna fish, for example. 
So you should be careful about these different meanings. Pianist, acoustic, symphony, concerto, accord, major, minor. The words major and minor are used only in music in Turkish. So for example, if you want to say major chord, you say major accord. But for example, if you want to say major change, you don't say major değişiklik, you say büyük değişiklik. This is true also for minor. In Turkish, minor is used only in music. Polyphonic, jury, org, bass. In music, bass is bass, but in other contexts, it has different meanings. For example, it also means press, like press any key on the keyboard. Piccolo, vocalist, solist. Even though vocalist and vocalist are the same word, in Turkish vocalist has slightly different meaning. It means back vocalist. So if you want to talk about the main singer of a band, you don't say vocalist, you say solist in Turkish. Ballerin, performance, organization. Now here is the next category, which is technology. Video or video. Tape, cassette, media, radio, television, telephone, fax, signal, kaplo, anten, silicon, monitor, telescope, microscope, microphone, telegraph, electric, electronic, modem, lamba, photograph, photocopy, makine, mekanizma, mıknatıs, lens, plastik, nylon, teknoloji, robot, I made a mistake while reading this. In English you say robot, but in Turkish actually the intonation is different, so you should be careful about it. It is robot. So the stress is on the second syllable. Robot. Charge. Capacité. Regulator. Adapter. Disk. Laser. Information, CD, DVD. Now the science category. Metal, fossil, bacteria, virus, laboratory, vitamin, protein, enzyme, mineral, atom, molecule, atmosphere, gaz, oxygen, ozone, carbon, chlorophyll, photosynthesis, analyze, synthesis, thermometer, organism, kilo, gram, metre, cube. When you talk about science or mathematics, cube has the same meaning as cube. But actually in Turkish dictionary the first meaning or the main meaning of cube is something different. Cube means pottery jug which is used to store liquids like oil, water, etc. Litre, calorie, homogen, heterogen, theory, hypothesis, Reaction, electron, proton, neutron, mutation, aceton, pasteurize. Depending on your age, 
education level or fields of interest, some of these words might be unknown to you. Well, in that case, you might just skip these words and concentrate on the easy ones which you already know. So I don't want these words to stop you from continuing the lesson. Now I have some nicer and easier words. Okul, kolej, akademi, üniversite, kantin, kafeteria, diploma, sertifika, matematik, biyoloji, kimya, fizik, coğrafya, kariyer, profesör, asistan, felsefe, filozof, koni, silindir, prizma, piramit, kongre, konferans, referans, seminer, ansiklopedi, rektör, metod, kampüs, kalite, formül, pratik, kurs, slide, sekreter, arşiv, doküman, proje, tiyatro, sinema, rol, komedi, dram, portre, profil, bej, gri, festival, broşür, katalog, disco, amblem, logo, grafik, parodi, senaryo, barok, rönesans, tema, mozaik, paragraf or paragraf, enteresan, estetik, dekorasyon. In order not to make you too tired or bored, I will give a break at this point of the lesson and I will continue in another video. Now in the first part, we talk about the first five categories. In the next part, I will talk about the remaining words. So if you like the lesson and you want to learn all the words, please watch the second part also. Until then, have a nice time. Good.